vibras because we know the vibras what is happening guys welcome back to another episode of the you know the vibras podcast you already know who this is this is your boy michael carrasco no aka yeah we're still trying to figure that part out but as always i'm with my boy the one and only juan the don what's going on my guy Chilling, bro. Chilling, man. You know, seeing you for a lot of energy today. That's uh, a bit abnormal, but you know, we're gonna, you? we're gonna, we're gonna take it, man. Hey, man, we gotta take, take, uh, gotta enjoy it while you can, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, but what's up, man? How, how was your week? Uh, anything interesting happened? You know, did everything go the way that you planned? What's going on? Um, not. I mean, I wouldn't say much happened. I'd just say that. Uh, well. The weather has, you know, changed drastically. Um, it was in like the high seventies, close to the eighties. Um, and it threw Ooh. me off how, you know, yeah, it was just it was just a bit random in Chicago. The weather changed, but it just shocked me. Not shocked me, but surprised me a bit how quick and desperate people were in the city to like, you know, change their wardrobe. Like mm-hmm. it was funny how you go from one day there was people with like puffer jackets to then the next day tank tops bathing suits swimwear like you know what i'm saying like the first day that we got in high 70s people went running to the beach which was like bro mm. yesterday mm-hmm. was like 30s 40s how do you how does your mind just change so fast it, it just threw me off you know what i'm saying but um not that i'm complaining that the weather has you know got warmer but i am complaining a bit you know, because I wish that it would have been an easier transition, more like a traditional spring, you know, like, like 60s. Transi- yeah. yeah, like 60s with a nice breeze and then gradually go into that, you know, summer heat. But, you know, we just had to deal with that, that dry 80. Like it just didn't, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't too good. <laughs> and the first day in the first day that 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 uh, that we got that weather, the gym was freaking so hot bro like i don't think they were prepared so the ac was not working right so it was musty and hot in there yes know that but um but yeah man outside of that um this was my first uh semana santa without um habichuela con dulce and it hurt me man oh facts bro no 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 i'm on the same wave as you man uh i'm not even gonna attempt trying my mom's recipe because i know it's not it's not gonna come out how I want it. So yeah. when I go back home, mama, just be ready. That's that's all I want. With some sancocho. Nah, and, nah, and I've seen I've seen I've seen video. It seems easy to make, but you know, you have to have some sort of patience, I'd say, to make it. Right. Um, basically yeah. it's um kidney beans, uh like um liquid. Like I mean not liquid, uh like uh what's the word? Um the the machine thing that what it, uh licual how do you say licual I'm oh yeah, yeah, yeah with the blender with the blender the blender, blender. yeah blend you gotta yeah. blend the the kidney beans and you know it's a sweet like uh dominican um it's a dessert like yeah dessert yeah yeah so it's normally ate on uh holy week so that's the thing you know semana santa the dominicans you know a huge tradition that dominicans have where you know this uh dish is consumed and you know i was a bit jealous you know seeing everyone posting them on uh social media and i was just like damn this is my first time without it and i was just like damn it was hurting me but hey i got through it but yeah, um I feel, yeah, I, feel like... I'm, I'm, I feel like maybe next year I'm, I'm gonna try to attempt to make it you know what i mean just because or you gotta have it you gotta have a dry stuff. run man because when i try to make poncho for the first time uh <laughs> come out, it didn't come out how I wanted, man. It didn't come out how I wanted. Yeah, that so, was so I feel, yeah, I feel like when you try to attempt something new, you gotta have a dry run first. That way, you can figure out. Oh, okay, I need to put a little less of this. Nah, that, yeah, that was, was a bad dry run, man. That was that was bad, man. It, it was like it was like we were drinking condensed milk, bro. Facts, like, facts. which is good, which facts, is good, which is good, but that's not the consistency but, we were going for. It just felt like, like diabetes drinking. Uh, this thing is the thing, diabetes. man. So I I tried to put more more of the liquor in there, but then it just tastes like straight up liquor, bro. So 
Maybe next time, next time we get spiked, a spiked better. condensed milk. <laughs> Fat. That's exactly what it was. That's exactly yeah. what it was. Yeah, but how about you though, man? What's new with you, man? What, how? Oh you man, uh, my week been uh, <laughs> interesting to say the least. Uh, okay. Uh, and that has been said because your boy was hit on, you know, the boy was hit while driving. Uh, Damn, I didn't even know that. Yeah, man, I uh, got hit in the company car, so a whole, a whole, you know, a whole thing going on. Um, locally, Yikes. luckily, uh, and I, uh, you know, uh, that's, that's when I realized it, like, man, God works in mysterious ways. Right. Um, luckily it was a low speed. We're in the highway going like 30. Um, so nothing crazy happened. Uh, only highway thing. going 30. Yeah, man. Traffic, traffic rush hour out here, man. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. So usually it's a 60. You I'm, usually I'm doing like 60. Maybe sixty five well, seventy on that road, but how was the uh interaction? Were were they were they upset? Were you upset? I was upset, but guess what, bro? They just they hit me and they kept going, bro. <laughs> no way. Yeah, bro. Hit and run. Yeah. 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 Damn. So they hit me, I they kept have, going. I like I try I try to follow them, see if they were gonna pull over. I lost him in traffic, so I <laughs> what I did, I, bro, I, oh, I don't know what was man. going on, man. Oh, I was, man, they listen, did, man, man, they did, bro. Listen, I was, I was in a good mood because it was Friday. I was going, I was going home <laughs> pretty early, you know, I was vibing. I was listening to some Manuel, man. I was, you know, I was, I was vibing the whole time. I don't know where I see a car just pa hit me because they were trying to switch lanes and, mm. I guess they, I don't know what they were doing, honestly, because there was no room for them to switch lanes. So they mm -hmm. used, when they, you know, moved over to my lane, they just hit me, man. All I did was, you know, slow down a little bit, bit uh, just went like full trot on, on the horn for like a good 10 seconds. Uh, they slowed down, then they took off, bro. I don't know what happened. Um, mm. Yeah, yeah, but that that was like the highlight of my week, man. Yeah, that, that that could that could be a um, that could ruin your whole mood for the week, man. Honestly. Yeah, man. Just because yeah. dealing with you know insurance and dealing with you know a lot of inconveniences that come with it, uh, yeah. especially when you don't know who did it. I mean, you know who exactly. did it, but they got away. Yeah, yeah. Um, Luckily, and trying to explain that and trying to explain that sometimes trying to explain that doesn't even, you know seem legit. Right? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. I mean, at least you know I got I got all the things that I need. Uh, it's a company car, so that's that's the main thing. <laughs> uh, at least the co I don't have to worry about dealing with the insurance and all that. I just gotta, you know, get all the paperwork that I need, and that's it. Uh, but yeah, man. Okay. Apart from that, apart from that, man, I had a pretty good week, pretty chill, uh, pretty relaxed. Uh, yeah, man. Until until that happened. Word. Damn. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> hey, if you're yeah, listening man. to us on YouTube or wherever you guys are listening to, make sure you take the time out to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed. And if you are subscribed, share to someone that's not subscribed. Continue. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we, we want to I want to do you have a quote for us today? Yes, I do have. a quote. All right. Um, Perfect. Before <laughs> you say it, before you say the quote, <laughs> this is this is the 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 money line action today, whether it is an anonymous, mm -hmm. anonymous quote or not. Uh, we are plus 450 <laughs> if it's not an anonymous quote and negative 1600 if it is an anonymous quote. Go ahead, Damn. hit the comment section. <laughs> let us know where, 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 which way are you going to, you know, bet. But those are those are the odds. And the, and the, payout, and the payout is coming from Michael. And the payout will be, yeah, five dollars <laughs> from you. That hey, y'all better claim the money from this guy. Y'all gotta $5 claim $5 it claim, though. Man. But 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 this is the <laughs> thing. This is the thing. You gotta be subscribed. <laughs> okay. You gotta be subscribed, and then if you had the uh, you know the right pick, we go. I'm gonna figure it out, and we're gonna get we're gonna get a little some some sent your way. Okay, so the quote is anonymous um well 
<laughs> well, it's from it's from Instagram. I mean, it's like you know, on Instagram when you see like those like uh um uh them slides. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They have like, like quotes. quotes. And I, yeah. And I picked it away. I picked it apart from one of those. Um, the quote says, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a quote. It's more like uh advice, but it is kind of a quote. Um, which says, if they don't know you personally, don't take it personally. Mm hmm. Ooh, yeah. So like that advice coming from people that don't know you personally, I feel like you shouldn't consider it because they don't know you. You know what I'm saying? So it might not be, you know what I'm saying? Something that makes sense for you to, because, you know, they don't know your, uh, you know, they don't know your, um, your good things and they don't know your bad things and they don't know what you're good at and what you're bad at. So they're kind of like looking from the outside, looking in, so, you know what I'm saying? Trying to give you advice, which sometimes they, it, that doesn't help you. Although it may seem like help, you know what I'm saying? Like they may feel like they're helping you, but it's not really helping you because they don't know how you go about things in life and how you take things and how, you know, sometimes when you tell someone like reality, but you don't know them, you know, the way you say it could, could affect them. Like if you're, if you know, like sometimes some coaches in life, like some coaches are really aggressive and really like, mm -hmm. uh, have a loud tone, but they're trying to look out for you. But since they don't know you and they don't know how they got to talk to you, you may take it the wrong way. So basically right. what I'm trying to say, if someone doesn't know you personally, um, don't kind of like, don't, don't feel offended, uh, you know, on how someone may approach you in that way as well. But also, if someone, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, some random person on Instagram or something comments something on you negatively and they don't know you, don't let it affect you as well. You know what I'm saying? Don't let random people and their hate or whatever uh, affect you as an individual. Man, that was that was a fire, fire quote right there, man. And, you know, I'm with you 100 percent. You know, if some if they don't know you personally. Don't take it personally, especially when it when it comes to the negative stuff. Uh, the only thing I will add to that is like, if somebody that you don't necessarily know personally tries to give you advice, I would say take it take it with a grain of salt, right? Exactly. You gotta you gotta you gotta see okay, is what they're saying actually going to benefit benefit me in some type of way, or does this even apply to me? So that and if it seems logical, if it seems logical. Um, right. cause like we've said many times, um, there's times where you may not see something, you may be blind to something, but someone else sees it and they want to tell you, but right. sometimes some people don't have the right to, to come into your space and tell you things like that's where it can be a bit tricky. Like if someone doesn't know mm -hmm. you personally, there should be boundaries to who can say things to you and when they can say things to you. So I right. think that all comes in and, and the boundaries you set with people early on. And um, if you establish the boundaries and, you know, and limits that things of they, what they can touch and what they can't touch. You know what I'm saying? So. Right, 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 right. Now, I agree 100 yes, percent. So but let's get into today's episode. We, we have a fun one for you guys. So this is going to be. Random facts with the, you know, the Vividas. Uh, so yeah. essentially how we're going to do is he has a list of facts that pretty much like weird fun facts that are out there and i have my own mm -hmm. list and then we're right. going to give you some facts uh trying to surprise each other with those facts mm -hmm. to see if we knew it or if we didn't know it so right. my man juan de don's going to start us off go ahead brother go with the first one my first one is going to be very it really kind of threw me off and i and i try to think if it if it has made like if it makes sense but i never mm -hmm. really put my mind to it um this one i've seen and it says ketchup was once sold as a medicine <laughs> um which <laughs> was funny man did you did you have that so yeah so, so, funny. so yeah no nah, yeah because so i think it was uh for indigestion so like an upset mm -hmm. an upset stomach um, I've never thought about it when I had an upset stomach, if I ate like a sandwich with ketchup or something. Um, but, uh, <laughs> I can't, I can't attest to this and, and say if it really worked, but it is something that was once sold as medicine. Yeah. 
That's crazy, from. though. That That is crazy. Is. But, I mean, it kind of makes sense, but I was like... A lot man. of these things, though. Like, even yeah. Dr. Pepper, I think. Dr. Pepper, at one point, was uh, some sort of medicine, I believe. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. man. This is... <laughs> that's, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah. All right. So, I'm going to go with mine. So, do you know that a Jiffy... You know, we say I'll be there in a Jiffy. It's an actual unit what? of time. A Jiffy. Like I'll be there in a Jiffy. You know, you, you uh, have you heard? I've never used that. I've never used that. Yeah, I, I don't use it, but you know, you can you can hear it. <laughs> some people use it. Uh but a Jiffy is an actual unit of time. It's a uh, mm. one hundredth of a second. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I've never I've never used the term, um, but I've I think I've have heard it. Uh, yeah, I, I have heard it. Like I feel like you hear it more in like cartoons or like TV shows mm -hmm. or something like that or movies. Okay, all right. Uh, moving on. Mine's is gonna be. Did you know that back back in the day, movie trailers actually played at the end of the movie, not in the beginning. Mm. So yeah, so I mean, I think I would rather that, but then again, it depends what type of it. Well, no, no, no. It depends what type of movie watcher you are. If you're gonna show up on time or you're gonna show up late, because sometimes right. when the time is like seven thirty and you show up at seven thirty, you're gonna sit there for like twenty minutes. You know what I'm saying before the movie starts. So sometimes it depends because you know the trailers and everything. So. It depends what type of person you are watching movies. If you're actually going to show up on time, because if there's no trailers, then it's going to start at that time. Um, but I, pre right. I preferably would like it after. You know what I'm saying? Makes am I, sense. Am I, I see. Like I see. how it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. The only thing with that, just like from from a business standpoint, like People I'm the type living. of person. I, as soon as the them credits, if I'm at the movie theater, as soon as them credits roll. Man, I'm bouncing. I'm watching the credits, though. Well, it depends. If it's a Marvel in movie, the bloopers, you know what I'm saying? In the bloopers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, that type, like, for me, you gotta, if it's like a, like a Marvel's movie, I'll definitely watch it all the way through. But any other movie, not really. Not really. I'm bouncing. Because, you know, chances are, like, three months later, it will be on Netflix or one of these uh, streaming platforms. And I will actually watch the full thing. But yeah, I would say from a business standpoint, it makes more sense to have it at the at the beginning. You mm -hmm. so you have everybody see it. And then it's I gotta say, I used to work at the movie theater. It's uh it's like you said, you know, it's like to give people time because mm -hmm. usually the credits run for like 20 minutes, so you have 20 minutes before the, after the starting time before the movie starts. Yeah. Okay. All right. Go ahead. All right. Man. So I'm gonna go with the, with the my second one. So do you know what ferrets are? Ferrets? Yeah, they're like the little animal? animals things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So apparently a group of ferrets is called a business. Hmm. But that's in Ken. Group of ferrets. Let's call it business. I don't get it. It's just a just a fact. Just a fact. Okay. Just a fact. All right. <laughs> All right, bro. <laughs> All right. Going on. Did you know? In America, it is actually illegal to share your Netflix password with someone who is not a part of your household. Yeah, so well, basically, all in, in the Netflix, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the Netflix terms, um, sharing your password with a family member or friend who's not in your household is therefore a technical breach of Netflix terms mm. of use. Who who truly reads terms of use? It's like, let's be honest. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody does. No, unless we it's something start, like super. Bro. We should start. No, nah, I agree. We should start, but but they're just so long, man. <laughs> they're so long <laughs> yeah you just scroll down at the bottom accept and you don't even know what the heck you're accepting that's it but yeah it is i don't know i don't know if anyone has been arrested due to this but 
if you are guilty, watch your back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say people will probably get uh, arrested. More likely, they will probably get banned or something off Netflix. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, here's another one. Do you know that skydiving on a Sunday as a single woman is illegal in Florida? Skydiving as a woman on Sunday? As a single woman. As a single on, woman. On Sunday. Why? No idea. It's just one of those crazy. No, you know the facts and you don't know why. <laughs> Do you have to give me the it context, did, man? It didn't it didn't explain. Uh it's something about like marriage, <laughs> like to give married people like I don't know, but it's but it's crazy because it's only to promote marriage. Only. Right. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I don't I didn't get it exactly. But yeah, yeah. As a single woman, you cannot go skydiving on uh in Florida and you can actually mm. get arrested if you are caught. But I doubt it's one of those laws that nobody checks. Okay. So this one I actually was offended by in a way. Um for whatever reason, you'll see. <laughs> but it actually turns out that the last letter added to the English uh, alphabet was not the Z. The last letter was actually the letter J. Mm. Um, <laughs> yeah, because in, in the Roman alphabet, the English alphabet's father J was in a letter. It was just a fancier way of writing the letter I called the swash. So yeah, oh, okay. Juan is with a J and you know, you know, I hate coming in last or hate being last. So the fact that Jay was last, you know, it kind of hurt me a little bit, man. I'm not going to lie. So technically, technically in the back old days, your name started with an I. Right. That's fine. That's I- Iwan. Iwan. I mean, kind of, <laughs> if you, if you, not, nah, if you actually put the I replacing the J, it says Juan. If you think about yeah. it. Yeah. 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 So that, that yeah, kind of no, no, does make sense. That, it kind of makes sense. It kind of makes sense. So is that is that why the the J has like the little that at the top is kind of like how the I does, right? Oh, interesting. That was a good yeah. fact. That was a good fact. Hey man, come on man, it's one of those. Yeah, that is, that's that's good. That's good. <laughs> All right, so I, I gotta step it up over here. Here's a, here's a good one. <laughs> Did you know that peanuts are used to make dynamite? So Pe- when peanuts, yeah, peanuts okay, are used to make dynamite. Just want to make sure, man. You pronounce so peanut oil creates glycerol when it's processed, which then the glycerol can be turned that into nitroglycerin, which mm. is one of the key components on making dynamite. Interesting. So therefore, peanuts made two types of explosives. If you know what I'm trying to say. Mm. Okay. Dang. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I caught on to that later. Yeah. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> I actually seen also somewhere. I can't remember where I, I seen it earlier that peanuts are actually not considered nuts or something mm. like that. Mm. Um. Yeah. Look, here it is. Peanuts are not nuts. Um. They are a legume, legume, whatever the heck that yeah, is. It's like, the like same family as peas and lentils. Lentils, mm-hmm. lentils. Okay. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense, though. It kind of okay. does, but then again. All yeah. right. Yeah. I got one for you. Going back to movies. You probably have this one, but this is a fact that I've seen. The script for the movie Terminator was actually sold for just one beautiful dollar. Wow. Yeah. Talk about the return on investment right there, man. Yeah. Well, the previous, I've seen that the last Terminator movie like made a whopping like 200 plus million. So mm. just shoot, even with any thousands I make from $1 investment, that's phenomenal. You yeah. Know what I mean, no, so imagine the millions. You know, so that's, that's, uh, that's tough. The fact the script sold for that cheap was, you know, a bit interesting as well. Yeah. Yeah. Like now, whew, man. Script, mm-hmm. I, I mean, depending depending who wrote it, I feel like a script, I would say from like a beginner, 
probably like at least minimum like a thousand. Right. Imagine like right. somebody that's been writing scripts where who for let's say 10 plus years, at least, at least like 20, 30 K. Right. Probably even more. Facts. So since since we still, you know, in the arts, uh so do you know that competitive art used to be an Olympic sport? Competitive art? Yes. So between uh, 1912 and 1948, you could get a medal for the following. For music, painting, sculpture, and architecture. So if you were a great musician, you could win an Oscar and an Olympic medal. Hey. That's crazy, huh? That's very crazy. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. All right. Let me let me let me switch it up a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you know, Mr. Michael Carrasco, that octopuses have three corazones, three hearts. So one heart pumps the blood. Mm. And the other two are dedicated simply for just their gills. Okay, so for breathing. Right. So two are for those, and then one is for the blood. That's nuts. So you, if you break that one octopus's crazy. heart, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I got two more. I wish I was an octopus. You break my heart, I got two more. You got to break three <laughs> hearts. That's tough. <laughs> Man. Now, that's crazy. That is crazy. Nah, facts. Mm-hmm. Uh, oct- octopus are really interesting. Have you ever ate octopus? Creatures. I would not be surprised if you have. You, you've seen yeah, like I have. someone that has. I have. I have. It's, a, it's not that bad as you shooey. It's like squid. Squid is the same way. Shooey. Really shooey. Yeah. Um, <laughs> at least the one that I had. <laughs> at least the one that oh, I had. Mike, you're a funny guy, man. Shooey. Shooey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bro. All right. Here, is it like calamari? One. Like calamari? Calamari is chewy. So calamari is uh, squid. squid. Yeah. yeah, fried yeah, squid. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, kind of, kind of. It depends what part chewy. of the Yeah. All of those like lambi is chewy too. Mm-hmm. It's conch, conch, whatever you call it. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, bro. All right. So let's try for these yeah. yikes, By the way. Yes, it is. If you take notes, fellas. Take take no fellas. <laughs> uh. The longest word, well, do you know that the longest word in the English language is 189,819 letters? And it takes roughly around three hours to pronounce. (laughs) Bro, this man is tone, bro. Yeah. (laughs) What is the word? It's too long to pronounce. It takes three <laughs> hours to pronounce, man. I'm not. Yeah, gonna, I mean, I'm not. This is. This, this seems like fake it. news, man. This seems like fake no, news. No. Okay. Man. So I'm. I'm gonna tell you the start uh, of the longest word in the English language. Uh, it's just too long. Too long. Too long. All right, bro. <laughs> it's just too long. But okay, what I will, okay. it starts with methionoil. Yeah, it's too long. It's too, it's too hard to pronounce. Too. Yeah, I'll put okay. a link. I'll put a link in the description for you guys. That way you guys can okay. check it out. Okay. All right. Um, all right, moving on. Did you know that Fruit Loops are all the same flavor? I should read into that uh, a while back. Um, yeah, yeah, they're all the same color. That's but... kind of yeah, that's kind of heartbreaking, bro. Because you think you know mm-hmm. you get a blue one, you want to get some blue raspberry, you know. You think, but it's crazy. I think they play mind games. That's similar to um some candies as well. I think M mm-hmm. and M's they all taste the same. Um, yeah, M and M's all taste the same. There's yeah. a lot of those that are different colors, but they all taste the same. Also, shout out to you know the V, but I can't remember what episode it was. Uh, Fruit Loops is actually spelled 
uh differently. It's supposed to, it's not spelled from like the letter fruit or the word fruit is spelled fruit F R O O T. So two O's and a T. Not R U I T. F R U I T. Yep. <laughs> Shout out to yeah. another video. I can't remember what episode it was that we, we talked about that. Yeah, I think it was season two. Season two, somewhere, yeah, I can't remember. somewhere around there. Yeah. Oh, um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh that that's uh it's kinda like psychology. Um so you could like because we associate like a color with a uh with a certain flavor. flavor. Like you said, the right. blue one, blue raspberry, the red right. strawberry. That's why when you eat right. them, that's why you taste like different flavors. Nah, I taste them all the same. Nah. You you t- you used to taste them all the same? Yeah, they all taste the same. I think the best thing about the the Fruit Loops uh, was the the flavored. Well, then that's crazy. What are they ta- What do they taste like? Now that I think about it, because the milk does have a flavor. Mm-hmm. It's interesting. I'm not sure, but uh, damn, go ahead, go with your next one if you have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so uh, we're gonna get. I'll say we'll do a couple more, and uh, mm-hmm. the next one is uh, the you know. That dolphins have names for each other. What? Yeah, so dolphins use, you know how dolphins have that squeaky whistle to communicate. So apparently um they use like a different whistle for each mm-hmm. member of their pod. So f- for each individual in their f- group, would it would they be called a friend group or yeah. So they use a dis- they use a distinctive whistle for each member of you know the I would say the right term will be the pod. Okay. There you go. Oh, another another dolphin one I have seen. Um, do you know that dolphins actually sleep with uh, one eye open? Mm, did not know that one. Yeah, yeah. So I think that it was uh I think what I seen was that they do it in order to uh. Um, be aware of their the predators. Um, mm. So yeah, the left eye will be closed, and the right half of the brain sleeps, and vice versa. This type of sleep is known as unihemispheric sleep, as only one brain hemisphere sleeps at a time. Huh. Um, yeah, that's crazy. I'm gonna try to actually. Well, whales, <laughs> whales, is, whales as well. Yeah, whales as well. I mean, kind of makes whales sense though. Dolphins. It kind of makes sense. Uh, no, that's crazy. But my yeah. thing is like, how how is I guess you know because that's how they were made. I would guess. But like, my <laughs> what catches me off guard is the fact that they can one part of their brain can be asleep, right, while the other one is still active, right. That's yeah, damn. yeah. I don't get it. But I mean, it... <laughs> damn. I hope yeah, you guys crazy, listening are learning something because that's this is crazy. This is crazy. I'm trying to see. I thought I seen something where it says it's something due to their predators, but I can't find it. Um, but yeah, um, we got a couple more really quick. Um, I kind of bounced off you, but I got I got yeah, yeah, a couple yeah. more real quick. Go ahead, um, go ahead. Did you know that the Eiffel Tower during the summer? can actually grow up to six inches more. Um, this mm. is due to higher temperatures making the iron uh, expand, which is crazy to think of. It's already an enormous, uh, you know, height. And just, you know, I want to know how true that is. Like, who actually goes and, like, measured it and see that, oh, this grew a couple more inches? You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what job right. type yeah, is that? Yeah, like, yeah. Eiffel Tower measurer? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh yeah, no, that's crazy. That is crazy. I think um man, nah, I'm not gonna get too deep. But yeah, here here it is. Uh so I don't know if you notice, uh, but if you wear like a like a ring or something, you will notice like during the cold times it uh mm-hmm. it fits a I would say a little looser. Hmm. And then during yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Like for but that kind of that kind of doesn't that's kind of backwards then because it says that the iron expands. So well, does, does gold well, does gold shrink? 
So, oh, so, 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 so it's, it's not necessarily like when you wear a ring, it's not necessarily the metal. It's actually your, your hand. Hmm. So that's another fact that you know that during the cold times, your hand is slightly smaller and then during warm time is slightly bigger. Uh, mm -hmm. And that's used because the cells, you know, contract just to mm -hmm. keep you warm. And then in the summer, it opens up that way, you know, breathe easier. Okay. Crazy, crazy fact. Alrighty. Another quick one, really quick. Um, did you know that uh, lemons float, but limes sink? And this is due to limes being slightly denser. Um, the lemons, which mm. is actually crazy to think about. Yeah. Because limes are smaller, right? Right. Yeah, that is crazy. That is crazy. Do you think they would you think they'd float? I would have yeah, I would have thought the opposite. I would have thought the opposite. Also, what's the what, lime in Spanish is Lima. Limon? No, Limon. This man said Lima. No, 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 it is Lima. Lima, Lima. Lima. What? No, it's yeah, not. Lima. Yes, it is, bro. Bro, no, it's not, bro. It's either Lima or Limoncillo. It depends. It depends how. Bro, what the yeah, heck are bro, you look it No, up. it's not, bro. Look Limoncillo? Yeah. This man is tripping, bro. Bro, I'm going to put my $5 no, it's not, on it. Put the $5 on that, bro. Here, let, let's look up Lime in Spanish. Well, bro, you talking about Mexico. Right. Nice. Lime Lima, is Limon. Bro. And lemon is, I think, uh, or is it the other way? Lemon is lemon, see you, or no? Lemon is limon. Damn, I don't fucking know. I'm tripping. Yeah, bro, it's lima. Trust me, bro. Trust me. No, next limon, time you go to the limon, see you. Let's, next limon, time see you opens up the debate in Puerto Rico, which is actually the the Facts. canepa versus limon, see you debate. Facts. Facts. We'll get into well, that. Puerto Rico the versus time. Dominican Republic. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that one during the summertime. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I have one. I have one right here. Uh, do you know that in 2001, Britain had 300 banana related injuries? Hmm. And then this ranges from falling to a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> but yeah, Interesting. 300 banana um, related injuries. Okay, I have two more. I'm going to say I'm really quick. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. One, shout out to Chicago. Um, did you know that you could actually see, well, this is a bit misleading. It says you can actually see four states from the top of the tallest building, which is the Willis Tower in Chicago. Um, you could actually, it says you could see four states, which are beyond Illinois, which is that's technically the Illinois, Chicago's in Illinois, uh, Indiana, Michigan, and Wisconsin. Interesting. I've never tried this. I need to try this and see how true this is. Um, and really quickly, the last one that I do have is that, um, did you know humans are the only, uh, animals with chins? It's interesting. Makes sense. <laughs> How does that make sense? Well, w wouldn't like monkeys have chins as well? No, nah, I don't think monkeys have chins, bro. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think I don't think monkeys have chins. No, nah, then it kind it kind of looks like they have. It's a jaw, right? It's not a chin. It's it's a like so is jaw. that? Huh. But I don't know, bro. I don't, I don't know. know. This man. is man. That's one of those <laughs> ones. That's one of those ones. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So you never, are you done? Okay. Yeah, yeah. The other ones that they weren't, I thought they were good. They, okay. they really weren't that good. Um, cool. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But um, so we're moving on from that. Yeah, that was something really different. We do want to touch on one thing real quick, a quick prediction that we have for a huge uh, boxing event that's happening this Saturday. This Saturday. Um, upcoming Saturday. April yeah. 20. No, this, yeah. April 22nd. Javante Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia. Who do you got? Oh, so so I'm gonna go with the unpopular uh, decision here. Uh, I'm gonna go with Ryan, man. I don't know why, but I feel like in this fight, I feel like he's gonna step up to the plate and actually, you know, put in the work and win the fight. How is he gonna win? Mm -hmm. I'm not too sure. Uh, I would say if. If he can avoid getting touched, 
he can win by decision. But then again, he does have the power where he could, mm -hmm. if he lands something clean, he could not tank out. Huh. You know, but I'm going to say Ryan Garcia by decision. That's that's my final okay. my final decision. Okay. Um first off, I want to say I think you should be banned from the state of Maryland. Let's just state that uh first. Um you you're no you you turned your back on the state of Maryland. Javante really? Tank is from Maryland. Tank is I from know Maryland. That, so but I'm actually going to go with the hometown guy just cuz he's from Maryland. And just because he has grown tremendously in the sport of boxing to be arguably the 100%. face of boxing now. 100%. Um, yeah. With the fall of, you know, Canelo, he fell off a cliff. Um, hey, he's going Yeah, back. but yeah, so I, <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm going to go with Tank. I think Tank has stupid power. You he know does. What I'm saying? I he think does. That, I think that Ryan Chen is very soft. Um, he got knocked down by Luke Campbell. So they test his chin. But he did come back from that and won. Um, mm -hmm. but I do think Tank I do think I do think Tank takes him um within eight rounds. I think Tank eight rounds? Gets him out I of mean there. if for yeah, yeah, I mean that's that's a good I would say analytically that's a good prediction, honestly. Honestly. Yeah. But uh the fight is actually a lot closer than what everybody would think. Like I was looking at the at the uh spread earlier. Um, the spread were like plus three something and then minus two something. Uh, hmm. It's it's a crazy close fight and and I feel you know I want to touch on this as well since we are you know talking about it. I feel like this is the fight that's going to force everybody else to start fighting each other. Mm -hmm. Which you because haven't you seen in the sport of boxing. Exactly that's why I'm a big a UFC wild. fan because because UFC the best fight the best. Yeah, yeah, that and that's like how that. I feel like that's how boxing should be more. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be a good fight. Uh, I'm gonna say this will be the first fight that I'm gonna buy this year uh, because I don't want to miss it. You're gonna buy it? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm. I'm actually gonna buy it uh, Damn. because the links been letting me down lately, <laughs> man. Uh, the links have been letting me down. Nah. I definitely think they're gonna crash a lot this this fight. Yeah, um, so the, I'm just not gonna you know play around with it. I'm gonna buy. It. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the hit. Also, hey, if you well, I'm not. So if you have a link, you know, shoot me the link in the DM. I'm gonna need that. Yeah, send send us a <laughs> private link where we can watch. Hey, actually, actually, don't every send me. Any, don't send, no, 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 no. <laughs> don't send me. Don't send me anything. It's actually illegal. Don't send me anything. I'm a buy. Nah, we go. What he was trying to say is we're gonna buy the fight. Uh, one of these days, you know, this this is this is what I want to do uh one day. I want us to host like a like a fight night thing, you know, with uh fans and a lot of some of our creator friends. So if you guys want to make that happen, you know, let us know. Uh and then we can figure our location and all of that and just have a good time with everybody, good vibes and watching a fight or it could be something else. We're gonna put it together okay all righty we're gonna have to see hopefully that, that that'd be dope we'll see man we'll see yes, God willing. but um this is the end of the episode oh we did not mention this is the 90th video on you know the vibras mm -hmm. on the platform um which would be 89 or 88 uh episodes on uh the digital mm -hmm. platforms um because you know the dominican when i was in dr the episode didn't sound too clear so yeah there's one that we didn't post on there but let's just say 90 episodes on you know the v 10 more and we're gonna crack that lucky number 100 which is very a huge accomplishment as a content creator um but yeah so thank you guys for tuning in to this episode something different um you know you know a bit different we keep trying to do different things to see what works and what doesn't work if you guys enjoyed it we could do a part two to this in the near future uh, just know that this is, you know, we're getting to the end of season three. I think next week will be the season finale. And yeah, we're going to see where, you know, what else God has planned for, you know, the Vibras. Uh, interesting summer should be ahead of us. And we'll see where that goes. But yeah, make sure you like this video. Comment down below which fact that, you know, caught you off guard. 
um also comment if you want to see a part two to this and we'll consider it and do it in the future potentially in season four but yeah make sure you comment subscribe share with a friend uh make sure you get us to 1000 so we can drop the merch i mean at this point we might always keep the merch from you and me now you know just uh that's close that's close to fear that you guys no 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 but yeah make sure you like comment as always remember to subscribe and let's ride let's ride who that <laughs>